River City Rebel Shadow is pretty good as a single player game. The co op, ooh, yeah, I made that video just on a whim and I was really just frustrated about the game because I bought it intently on playing it co op. I was not planning on playing it solo. When I actually did play it by myself, you know, the game ran pretty smoothly and the controls were, were really responsive and I was actually pretty pleased with it as a game in general as a whole. <laughs> now, um, I, I kind of want to talk about the mechanics and the features. I won't really go too much into the story. All you really need to know is just, you know, that the, the twins are up to no good, Ricky's girlfriend gets kidnapped, and everyone wants to fight Kunio. It's pretty much the same as the original game for the NES. But with intense graphics, wow! So, <laughs> one of the things that this game does differently than the original, besides it being with the 3D backgrounds and the special stuff, is, um, yeah, the game runs on a timer. So, think like Majora's Mask, but not as, <laughs> but not as intense and scary. Goddamn food. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it runs on a timer, <laughs> and, um, yeah, there are there are a couple things that can affect your time. Obviously, just running around town doing nothing, you know, waste time. But um, if you go into a restaurant and you go and eat, that'll shave off I think 20 minutes of your time. But if you get get pwned in a fight, then that takes off an hour of your time. And then you end up back at the high school at the beginning of the game. You know, which is it's kind of sucks. You, it makes you not want to lose, but you know, it's the game is gonna be hard in the beginning because uh, I had a lot of trouble. I was getting my my butt kicked a lot in the beginning of the game, but you know, the more you fight people, the more experience you get, and then when, when you get more experience, you level up. Uh, when you level up, you get three points to allocate to whatever stat you want. I kind of wanted to try to balance it out, try to go like one and like, you know, punching, kicking, and then trying to go for defense, just, you know, so I take less damage. But you can do it like however you want. There are restaurants that, if you eat there, it recover your HP and it'll give you like a little stat boost. Also, say if you're in a fight in a shopping area, just run into like the nearest food place and eat there. It'll shave off time, but you'll get your health back <laughs> and maybe a little stat boost as well. Uh, from, from from what I noticed, um, I I ate I bought some uh, some ramen uh, two different times and it gave me a different stat boost each time. So it's not consistent with what you will get, but yeah, just just keep that in mind. So a refreshing part about this game is that there are a major variety of NPCs in the game. Like like in the original game on the NES, every male character looked exactly the freaking same except for like their hair and their face and their color of their their um their uniforms or shirts if you're playing the uh, American version. Same with the females too. They were they're all with the little sailor girl outfits and everything. But uh, in this game, like. Wow, everyone looks really, really cool. You know, there's so many different sprites and so many different colors. Everything's popping. There's even dogs in there and balding men. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's really, really cool to see that. You know, this game has Steven Seagal in it. Oh, it's, just it's really, really cool that they went out of their way to make different sprites. Because if they went with the same like kind of way as the original, with just the same sprite with everybody and no different animations, it it would be kind of like, <laughs> it would be kind of silly if they did that. But but I'm really glad that they took the time and effort to make this game way different than the original. Yeah, this game is a lot more story driven. I mean, there was a story in the original NES game, but this game is like more of like a long, like a long text-based kind of story. But it's it's cool, you know. It's interesting. It kind of gives it, it's fleshing out the story because, like I said, the original game, uh, all you know is that Ricky's girlfriend gets kidnapped by somebody, and then you know, like uh, Kunio and Ricky are rivals, but they come together because Ricky's desperate for help, and then they go and they you know, beat up people for information, and then they go fight Slick at the end at the, uh, the rooftop of the high school. Did I get that right? Oh god, I'm gonna feel stupid if I didn't. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so this game I think kind of flushes that out more. However, I, I don't like that. Yeah, like Ricky's in here, but he's just like a little NPC. He's not like, it'd be neat if you can like recruit him on your team to like fight with you. I don't know why they didn't have that feature. That's kind of <laughs> kind of disappointing, but it, it it's okay. This, this game is still pretty damn good. <laughs> oh yeah, um, about the map. So on the map, you'll notice that there are question marks every now and then on these like big yellow spots. So that means that um, that's where there's an event going down. So depending on the time of day and which day it is, um, the question marks could be anywhere. So just always just be sure to look out for your map. Also, the, the little red dots on the uh, map indicate that there are gangs there. So if you want to beat up some people, 
go there and fight him. One thing that kind of bugged me was that I wasn't really getting a whole lot of money after uh, beating up people. And I, I, don't, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I just felt like I beat up like a whole gang of people and then nothing popped out. I think one time money popped out, but that was like once. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so I was desperate. So out of frustration, I threw an umbrella like like somewhere like in town, like in a shopping area. And it ended up hitting somebody. I, I thought that it was like an actual like, event. But no, it was just some pissed off NPC yelling, and then I got beat up. <laughs> I didn't know that that was a, a, a real thing, so I tried it again. Yep, sure enough, um, yeah, a lot of NPCs in the area come beat you up because they're pissed off you're attacking innocent people. Now these guys aren't like your regular like school punks that you can just go around beating up. These guys are actually pretty, uh, they're actually pretty intense. So if you're gonna fight them, be sure that you're full on HP, or you got last stats, or or, or if you're like me. Run into the nearest ramen place and just eat until you beat them all up, <laughs> which wasn't even worth it. I think I think none of them dropped money, so I was pretty mad about that too. <laughs> in the story, uh, you have to play this little mini game, which is actually a feature in the main menu of the game. It's a, it's called Double Dragon Duel. It's really cool actually. Um, it has music from like each game, from the first game, second game, and third game on the NES, and uh, it has a lot of sound effects too from Double Dragon Two, which is pretty sick. And it has a uh, yeah, but if, if you play as one of the twins, then you're going to be OP because they like they have moves from the from the from the games, like their knee and their little spin kick, which is pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty damn cool. So if you play as those boys, you're you're not going to lose. But yeah, all in all, man, this game actually surprised me. Uh, playing it by myself was a lot of fun, but I haven't beat it yet. I'm just playing it here and there. But you know, I originally bought the game because I wanted to play with my brother because. When, when we were like younger and growing up, we played a lot of brawlers together. Like we played the original River City Ransom, Double Dragon two, three, uh, Streets of Rage one, two, and three. We just love brawlers, and then of course the initials game because they're a lot of fun. Oh god, and the X Men, oh brawler, oh the six player cabinet, oh so good. <laughs> Sorry, I can go on and on about beat 'em ups and arcade games all day, but <laughs> but I digress. But yeah, yeah, this game is pretty good, man. If you are a huge fan of the series, then playing it by yourself is the way to go. Don't go into this game expecting the co-op to be really funny because it's really sluggish. If you can get but if you can look past that, by all means go try to play with a friend if you want to, but it's much better single player. I don't have a rating system. This is just me being funny or not funny. It's just me talking about a game that I like. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video more than the other one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.